Hi, Cecily again from Gretna High School. <sighs> Listen very closely, very carefully. Can you hear it? The simplest of th sounds that thump, 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 simple as a clap that follows your breath around like a pregnant gasp, that rhythmic beat that keeps you breathing, that keeps you living, just living. Can you hear it? We sit so carefully in our houses of paper, thrones of straw, careful not to breathe loud enough to wake the complacent, so carefully that we can hear nothing but the whisper of the clap that follows our breath. It sits so solemnly in our chest of blood and bone. We, it sits so patiently, we almost forget it's there. So quietly we can hear just the imitation of its song, so carefully we fear we may break it. We live in a world that breaks at the single utter of a word that fears the triumphant cries of the restless that teaches the art of remaining silent, but can you hear it? Can you hear over the incoherent rumbles of thunder rolling over you? How can we live like that? It sits so angrily, we feel like it may burst. So desperately, we can hear the echo of its cry. So aggressively, we fear it may break us. Tell me, does it make you feel safer? To live a life so constrained by walls of parchment that bind your words to obscurity, does it make you feel better? To know that it sits deep within you in hibernation, dusted with lack of use, does it make you feel better? Knowing you have a life unlived beating within you, can you feel it? It is reverberating from between your lungs, pushing your breath back up your throat and out your mouth that is struggling against your ribs. And it aches so deeply you wish to peel back the skin from your chest, bend each rib at an angle so grotesque so that it may free itself from its cage of blood and bone. We live in a world where it is better to not have lived than to face the fear of judgment, better to drown than to swim, better to die than to feel. Can you feel it? It sits so sadly. You can feel its tri tears trickle down into your lungs. So melancholy, we can hear the melodic trum of the drops fill us up so deathly, we fear it may be the end of us. We are the end of us.